This is Dawn. Dawn is a little budgie. Came in as an emergency, vomiting, very, very unwell. It's taken us a little bit to work out what was going on. It's not one of the most common problems we see with budgies. But Dawn here actually has metal poisoning. Have a look at her. You can see the thing vomiting and loose droppings, things like that we're looking for here. Her blood level, blood lead level is 5.4. Now, while that's not massively high, it's significant because any that it should be zero. Any presence of lead is a concern. It tells you there's some toxicity. We've actually done some x-rays and we can actually see the metal. She's swallowed a small piece of metal, probably from an inappropriate toy or the clip off a toy, a bit of rust off the cage, anything inappropriate like that. All right, you can see Dawn's x-ray here. We did a barium x-ray, which means we've basically given her a contrasting agent to see what happens, whether she's passing it, whether or not. You can see in the x-ray, this is three hours later, most of it, because it's bright white here, is still in the crop. So not processing food in the way that we want. But the other thing that's really interesting is this little dot down here. So that little dot down there is actually a piece of metal. So Dawn has eaten something. So this is called delayed crop emptying and it's a common side effect of metal toxicity. We repeated the x-rays and I'll just bring them up this morning. Can you get the difference in that one? So that's about 17 to, actually it was 19 hours, 19 wasn't it? Hours. That's about 19 hours after being given the barium. And as you can see, the crop is empty, but the metal's still there. So at least we're processing food. We're hoping the collation therapy will solve the problem. So what we do in a case like this, we've done collation therapy while she's been in hospital. So that is a medication called calcinate, which are injected into her which binds with the toxins. So effectively, she is going to improve, which we've seen, because if you actually look at her now, she's nice and bright and jumpy and perching. She started eating again. The vomiting has stopped. So good news, she gets to go home. That's what we want. So guys, what I guess the message from this is to learn at home is check your toys, check your cage, any sign of rust or wear, throw it out. It's just not worth risking your bird's life because it can go very wrong very fast. How long have you had Dawn? I've had Dawn for two years now. And you love her, obviously. Oh, I love her. Yes. And she's going home. Yeah. We're happy? Yeah, I'm glad she's so much better than Friday when she couldn't even eat on her own. So how did you find out she was sick? She was pill bobbing, fluffed up, not eating or um, pooping very much. And she was just sleeping in the daytime excessively, which is all signs of a really sick bird. Yeah. Perfect, so that's what people need to look out for. Yeah. And so happy to go home that we're noisy. That's what we want. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this question, if is that going to stay there? Is it going to pass through? And the answer is it is most likely to stay there. It's not passing. So this bird is going to require calcinate injections for a little while until we get through and basically neutralize the toxins. We we'll need to take another x-ray to see if it's dissolved. More, not so much that we want to take another x-ray because we know it'll still be there. We're more concerned about repeating the blood lead test and make sure that the toxins have gone so that there's no lead poisoning down the track. So we'll see Dawn again in about a week's time to repeat that.